traditional world, certain responsibilities were set aside for the council of elders. But today, the community structure is broken. However, young people like Elisha Ojuang have taken up the mantle to preserve the heritage of our African communal society. So, Elisha, tell us a bit about yourself. Thank you so much for having me, Grenis. My name is Elisha Ojuang. I am from Kisumu County. My home is in Nyakach sub-county. I am a graduate from Moi University, the foundation of knowledge, where I studied education science. Basically, I'm a teacher of physics and chemistry. Uh, apart from that, uh, I am also the founder of Lake Region Readers Hub. Lake Region Readers Hub is an organization that brings together young people who love to read young people who are serious about intentional living. Nice. Yes. So tell us a bit, why Lake Region Readers Hub? Uh, Lake Region Readers Hub, uh, first of all, because uh, we are coming from the lakeside city. Mm -hmm. So we are so proud of Lake Victoria and uh, would love to uh, identify ourselves with that. And uh, we are talking of Readers Hub because we are basically people who love to read. So uh, this is about uh, young people who uh, we just met in the city. Uh, we just met in our workplaces. And then you discover that uh, this person has a particular passion that is uh, also found in me. And that is the love for books. It is often assumed that Kazia Vitabu Huishia Shuleni, yet to take it into the community. How has that journey gone so? Uh, uh, the journey has been uh, amazing, I want to say, and challenging as well. Uh, it is true that Vitabu uh, tumeacha uh, maneno ya Vitabu Shuledi. But you find that uh, from what I believe, and uh, if you read the Bible, uh, uh, I've discovered that wh wherever people suffer, wherever we have problems, uh, the first cause is majorly ignorance. Mm -hmm. And I believe that uh, there are a lot of things that we were not taught in school, mm -hmm. but we have to learn them anyway. So because of the fact that uh, uh, where there is ignorance, the uh, people suffer, mm -hmm. we decided to take forward the idea of uh, uh, renewing our minds with good books, feeding our minds correctly, and uh, trying to go overboard and at least learn a thing or two mm. that we could have not learned in school. Okay. The journey has been both uh, easy and challenging, mm. but uh, we keep going. God has been opening doors, mm. and we see people uh, running with the vision, and we are glad to have taken up the initiative. Nice. Yes. So how did you get the inspiration to do this? Uh, the inspiration to start Lake Region Readers Hub came from my love for books. Uh, I, I am a reader. I, I love reading. In fact, I would say what, what food is to you, that is what reading is to me. <laughs> Interesting. I would rather put aside food and read mm -hmm. and then eat later. Okay. Because uh, you discover that uh, 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 we all need to be empowered to become the best that we can ever become in our spheres of influence. Mm -hmm. And the best source of empowerment from my own perspective is books. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, when did you start the idea and how has it been received by the community? I conceived the idea of Lake Region Readers Hub in uh, June mm -hmm. 2021. And uh, from that time, I, I started doing my research. Mm -hmm. I started uh, trying to locate if I could find a reader's hub, a, a book club in the city. Mm -hmm. uh, I went searching, I never found one. Mm -hmm. And uh, just as they say, if uh, 
you come from a poor family, <laughs> it's upon you to ensure that a rich family comes, comes from, from you. Mm, so I tried uh, locating a book club in the city. I never found one. Mm. And that is when I realized that a book club has to come out of me. Mm -hmm. So uh, I sat down and wrote uh, the vision and uh, uh, brainstormed about it. Uh, in August 2021, uh, I met a friend called Austin Otieno. He famously calls himself Dumas. Mm. And he happened to love reading as well. And so we sat together. We, uh, we read a, a, a book together, a, a book called Start With Why mm. by Simon Sinek. And uh, from starting with why, the idea of Lake Region Readers Hub came. We said, wow. What if uh, we reach out? Uh, uh, do you know any other friend who is Loves. into books? Uh -huh. And uh, he knew somebody, he happened to know somebody, had not been in the city for long by then. Mm -hmm. So he connected me to one person and we came together, a team of three people. Mm -hmm. That is myself, Austin Otieno, and uh, a lady by the name Wema Gome. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is where the idea of Lake Region Readers Hub started. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you mentioned something about starting your idea back in 2021. Were you still in Moy University? I, I was out of Moy University mm -hmm. in 2019. Mm -hmm. uh, but I had not dropped the idea of reading because in Moy University we were, we were consuming the content. Mm -hmm. uh, but I believe uh, there, there, is more, there is something more than the content that we get from school mm -hmm. that, that we need to get because uh, I, there, are, uh, there are basically so many things that you don't learn in school. Okay. And so uh, from my love for books, I was able to discover that I'm getting so many things in these books that are written by good authors. And so I made the decision that, wow, this is the direction I want to go. Mm. Yes. Nice. So what kinds of books do you read in the groups and uh, why? Why those books? Our, our reading is diverse. We don't uh, uh, narrow down somebody to what they should read. But as an organization, we also ensure that uh, there, is a play, there, there is a specific place where our attention is directed. So majorly at Lake Region Readers Hub, we do self-help books. And we focus on certain thematic areas like finance, uh, personal development, uh, uh, character, uh, we focus on uh, issues that can uh, help me become the best that I can become in my sphere of influence. And then we source books. We get book recommendations and we do our own research and get the best books that talk about these thematic areas that we are paying attention to. Okay. Uh, do you have people supporting your, your club or your organization or is it a sole individual task? Uh, uh, we, we have people supporting us, but uh, first of all, it, it comes from us because this is something we are passionate about. Mm -hmm. This is something we, we are very serious about intentional living. Mm -hmm. So first of all, it has to come from individual sacrifice. We sacrifice mm -hmm. as members of the team. And then, of course, um, a, a friend of mine says that... Uh, uh, if you have a, a good vision and you uh, pursue it the right way, supply will never lack. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, so there is also a Chinese proverb that says when the student is ready, the teacher appears. Mm -hmm. So when we conceived this vision, it took only about a month mm -hmm. before I met a, a friend called Nyandusi Nyachai. And when he uh, looked at our vision extensively, he was like, wow, Elisha, I want to do whatever I can do to support your vision. Mm -hmm. So we have Nyandusi Nyachai supporting our vision. And we also have a lot of friends around in the city. Mm -hmm. I may not mention them all, but trust me, we have support. Okay. Yes. And speaking of teachers, you said you are a teacher. Yes. How do you infuse your readers hub with your profession? You know, first of all, you cannot be a teacher if you are not a reader. Mm -hmm. And uh, in fact, they say the moment you stop to read, you begin to expire. So I believe in uh, uh, personally going the extra mile to ensure that I feed myself with something that is just uh, 
more than the content that, that I consumed in the university and the content that I deliver in class. So I, I try to merge my, my, my teaching career with uh, reading uh, in that, uh, apart from teaching, I ensure that I also learn as an individual, I also, I also grow, I also become a role model and a, a mentor to the students that I am teaching. And uh, I, I think loving books uh, also helps me inspire the learners to see the value of investing their time into reading not just the content, not just for examinations, but, but reading for a, a better life. Okay. Yes. And are there any other activities you're involved in? Sure. If you have knowledge and you don't put it into practice, that is just mere information. So as a reader's hub, we don't read and end there. We read, but we go the next step of asking ourselves, how can we transform this information to power? How can we put what we are learning into practice to better ourselves and the people around us? So we have activities that we do. At Lake Region Readers Hub, we call them our major definite goals. Okay. And these are five, acti uh, five initiatives that we undertake. Number one is what we call Mentorship for Excellent Stewardship. Uh, we talk of Mentorship for Excellent Stewardship because uh, I believe and we believe at Lake Region Readers Hub that each one of us is just a steward of the gifts, the talents, and the abilities that we happen to find uh, in our inside of us. And so in our initiative of Mentorship for Excellent Stewardship, number one, we emphasize that each individual, each member of Lake Region Readers Hub must have a mentor. Okay. Like I have a mentor, Nyandusi Nyachai. Mm -hmm. My other friends have mentors who have, of course, succeeded in uh, their spheres of influence. So if you are a journalist, for example, if you join Lake Region Readers Hub, we will ensure that uh, we link you up to... A, a journalist who has succeeded in that particular sphere so that you can look up to them, they can mentor you, they can show you the way, they can show you uh, how to go about uh, uh, your passion, how to go about your goals in life. We also insist uh, on having accountability partners. Uh, first of all, we, we believe that a life not evaluated is not worth living. So we believe in having accountability partners. I have my accountability partner at Lake Region Readers Hub with whom I share my goals for the year, my goals for the month. They share with me their goals and objectives for uh, the year and the month, and we keep each other on toes. So we merge all that under our initiative that we call Mentorship for Excellent Stewardship. Mm -hmm. And at the end of every month, we bring on board mentors and just have coffee, and have a talk with them and have them inspire the team. Secondly, we have an initiative that we call Transformational Leaders Roundtable. Okay. Transformational Leaders Roundtable brings together grassroots leaders, uh, currently grassroots leaders who are operating in Kisumu County. Okay. We bring uh, uh, leaders who have uh, taken the uh, uh, who have taken the initiative of. Uh, 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 impacting the world in their spheres of influence. Like we have Didi Victor at Dunga Beach, so passionate about uh, conserving the environment. We have uh, leaders like uh, Boniface Akach at Kisumu Peace and Justice Center, so passionate about uh, 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 creating, preserving, and promoting peace. And we have several other leaders. We come together in a round table and uh, we encourage exchange programs. Uh, we bring on board leaders to share ideas on how they intend to transform lives. The goal of this initiative is to raise leaders who are going to be pace setters, mm -hmm. leaders who are going to be game changers, leaders who are going to put the interest of others ahead of their interest, uh, leaders who are going to eat last after the followers have eaten. Mm -hmm. We also have an initiative that we call a Smile on the Face initiative. Mm -hmm. A Smile on the Face initiative, uh, we ensure that we put a smile on the faces of people 
uh, that no longer see a reason to smile. Okay. These are people maybe who uh, they have gone through uh, ups and downs in life, and they think it's a, uh, they think it's a done deal for them. They think they're already experiencing hell on earth. For example, we have people in prisons. We reach out to them with messages of hope. We reach out to them with a, a lot of inspir inspiration. We, uh, we inspire them to dream again, to believe again. Mm -hmm. And we link them up with, we make sure that we go with people who have been through the same, same thing that they are going through. Mm -hmm. But in one way or the other, God made a way and they came out of it. And they are now doing an amazing job in their societies, impacting lives we make these people know that they can dream again, they can believe again. Uh, we visit orphanages, uh, we visit schools. Uh, a good example that I love using is uh, the Lake Victoria Upbeat School in Nyalenda, uh, a school that uh, just uh, ad, uh, admits students who have been through challenges in life, like uh, uh, young girls who became pregnant as teenagers, for one reason or another, they dropped out of school, and now they are just in the society. This school admits them back. What is our role as Lake Region Readers have? We visit these people that have deeply rooted underlying issues with messages of hope. We put a smile on their faces. We donate items. We donate staff from our friends and well-wishers. And we ensure that we just have good time with them and we make sure that any, any day we spend with them is a day that they would, uh, they would uh, look forward to. We also have an initiative that we call uh, Mental Health Awareness Program, and we do this monthly. We are living at a time when mental illness is on the all-time high. We see people committing suicides. We see broken families we see a lot of bad stuff taking place around. And uh, we believe that we cannot sit pretty good and assume that uh, things are going to get better. Okay. We talk to them, we, uh, we listen to them, we provide way forwards, we create that opportunity for people to just share and listen to one another and have a community where you feel you belong. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, you walk out a better person fully equipped to take care of your mental health. We also have our fifth initiative that we call a Beautiful Earth Initiative. Mm -hmm. Beautiful Earth Initiative is our commitment as Lake Region Readers Hub. It is our commitment to the next generation mm -hmm. that we intend to pass to them a beautiful earth mm -hmm. with a clear sky, with clean air, and with clean water. So we have programs whereby we just clean the environment. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we, we do sensitization. We have sensitization programs where we can choose a particular place and just sensitize the community. Uh, first of all, we clean the place. Mm -hmm. And then after cleaning, we, we talk to the people. We tell them about the importance of taking care of our environment. Wow, I, I love how your mind works. The initiatives are really, really leaving me at wow. Thank you, A Danny. young person like you thinks like that. That is a real leader. And uh, let's just go back. What are the drawbacks do you encounter in this activity? What such challenges? Mm, number one, uh, uh, you discover that uh, most people, they are not so intentional uh, about serious living. Mm -hmm. Uh, you, uh, you discover that we happen to live in a society where people mostly want to be pushed to do things. Uh, we live in a society that believes so much in handouts, believes so much in uh, competition, uh, uh, be believes so much in uh, shortcuts. Uh, and uh, we have experienced this even as a Readers have because you have some members coming on board, and within a month or so, you discover that uh, their intention is to change the vision of the goal, uh, the, the, the vision of the organization for their own personal benefit. But I want to say that uh, as, a, as, a, as a readers' hub, we look at challenges as opportunities okay. to grow. The challenges make us 
uh, more aware, more sensitive, uh, more intentional on growth. And uh, yeah, uh, we have tried to customize ourselves to just look at challenges as opportunities. Okay, yeah. great. And uh, so what is your next step into the future? Uh, into the future, uh, we, we are looking forward into a place where we can have a robust community of people who love reading, of people who are, are serious about intentional living. Uh, we are looking forward to raising a large community of leaders who are interested in putting the interest of followers ahead of them. Okay. We are looking forward, we have a big dream of having a great leadership school in the future in Kisumu City, whose primary goal is to raise leaders who are transformational leaders, whose primary goal is to raise leaders who are investing time daily, and I say daily, into renewing their minds into feeding their minds correctly. We are looking forward to a society that is uh, uh, serious about taking care of environment. We, we are looking forward to reaching out to as many as possible uh, uh, with the intention of uh, uh, putting it inside of them, inspiring them to take care of our environment uh, yeah, so we are, we are looking forward to some great stuff in the future. Yes. Your vision is really one to follow up on, and I would love to know what happens next. Thank you. So if one wanted to join or find you, how would they contact you? We have not ventured into all these social media platforms mm -hmm. for a reason that is very specific to us. We want to, be, to raise a, a team of people that are just professional users of media, so you just find us on Facebook, Lake Region Readers Hub. And if you want to join us, you can just call our number 0791318507. You will uh, meet our customer care desk. They will uh, promptly respond to you. Amazing. So what would you tell the community and the youth uh, who are running low on hope with the frustration of unemployment and such things? Uh, number one, I want to tell our youths uh, that uh, uh, we have to accept, first of all, as an individual, I discovered mm -hmm. that our education system uh, aims at creating job seekers, mm -hmm. not jobs, job creators. Okay. And so I want to challenge the youths mm -hmm. uh, to even those in school, even those who are already out of school and going about uh, seeking employment or hustling here and there, mm. we must change how we think. Uh, we must stop thinking as job seekers mm. and start thinking as job creators. Mm. Uh, uh, a, a great uh, uh, one American leader once said that the time has come when it's, uh, it's not the time to ask what your country can do for you. Mm. It's the time to ask what can you do to okay. you, for your country. Okay. And I believe that each one of us, I want to tell you, I believe that nobody ever came into this world empty. Mm. Each one of us has something inside of them mm. that the world is just waiting for you to unleash. So just discover your purpose, mm -hmm. just choose what you want to do with your life, mm -hmm. just look at the environment you happen to find yourself in, mm -hmm. and ask yourself, how do I, what do I intend to give back to the society? How do I intend to make the world a better place than I found it? What are some of the problems in my society, and how am I going to solve these problems. Uh, and I think it's time when uh, young people must go back to discovering who they are, because we all have abilities, we all have talents, we all have potentials. Mm -hmm. The only challenge is that most people have not discovered. Mm -hmm. So take your time, discover yourself, know your potentials, 
and exploit them for the greater good. And uh, it, it's high time we stopped waiting to, 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 to get a job opening, to get a job opportunity. O of course, it's good. There are opportunities. There are jobs. But I think uh, if we are going to move from a third world state to a first world state, we are going to need more young people who are going to be job creators and not job seekers. And uh, if we can discover ourselves, if we can discover our potentials, I know that it is possible. Wow, wow, wow. I have loved you. I have loved your initiatives. Thank and you. I am glad that you are here to share that. Thank you so much. As you have heard it, it is high time we stop to think about seeking for jobs but to become the job creators. Only if you discover yourself, you discover your talent and what you feel you are passionate about. This has been Youth in Action. I am Nyangweso Greni. This is the way to do it. This is the way